Hello. Congratulations from Kawasaki's Tarek Safety Team on your purchase of Kawasaki's first ever recreation utility vehicle. And it's a great one. Loaded with lots of features to make your driving fun, safe, and enjoyable. I'd like to guide you through some of the most important safety and operating items. But always refer to your Tarek's owner's manual for more details. See that blueprint? It's your guide to your new Terex. Let's open it up on the workbench and take a look at what your Terex has to offer. The Kawasaki Terex is quite a versatile vehicle, which is probably why you bought it. You can use it for work, but most of all, Terex is about big fun. Since this may be your first time driving an RUV, I want to be sure you are familiar with your new Terex and feel comfortable and safe while operating it. To do that, we'll give you some great information about your new Terex, a look at the basic controls, and some tips for safe driving. And since we all want to be responsible users, we'll talk about environmental sensitivity. Read the owner's manual. It is full of information on how to operate and maintain your vehicle. It also contains helpful guidelines on how to drive safely in different situations. Also, read the safety labels. You'll find them in different places on your Terex. They alert you to possible hazards and how to avoid them. So let's take a look at pre-ride preparation. Before you drive the Terex, we need to take a look at the most important element of safe driving, you and your passenger. Drivers must have a valid driver's license. Children lack the skill and maturity to safely operate the Terex, so make sure anyone who operates this powerful RUV meets the requirements outlined in the owner's manual. As with any motor vehicle, always wear your seat belts and keep all body parts inside the cab frame at all times. The driver and passenger must be able to place both feet flat on the floorboards while seated upright with their backs against the seat backs when firmly holding the steering wheel or hand grips. And just as you wouldn't operate power tools or machinery without appropriate attire and safety equipment, be sure both driver and passenger are wearing the proper gear. It is especially important to always wear a DOT-approved helmet and appropriate eye protection. Protective clothing like long sleeve shirts, long pants, and sturdy footwear can make driving more comfortable and reduce the chance of injury in the event of an accident. As with all motor vehicles, never drink and drive. Now that you prepared yourself for the ride, your Terex is next. Every time you go out to ride, it's important to spend a few minutes to make sure your Terex is ready to go too. Check your fuel level, coolant level, and engine oil level, tire pressure, front and rear gear cases for signs of leakage or damage, and make sure your air filter is clean. Check the nuts, bolts, and fasteners on your Terex, especially on the steering and suspension components. And make sure the brakes, throttle, Steering and lights are working properly. For more detailed information, see your owner's manual. The Terex seems a lot like other vehicles you may have driven, like a golf cart, an ATV, or a car. But trust me, the Terex is unlike anything you've driven before. Don't make any assumptions about how the Terex will handle or react to a situation. Take it easy and play it safe. This new full-size RUV is the first to have V-twin power. It combines an efficient belt drive transmission and integrated occupant protection with superior ground clearance and cargo capacity to become the top performing RUV on the market. We've already mentioned this once or twice, but the owner's manual contains detailed information on how to safely operate your Terex. Read it before your first drive. Obey local laws and regulations and make sure both driver and passenger meet the requirements we mentioned earlier. And when I say passenger, I mean one passenger. Never allow anyone to ride in the cargo bed. If you ever wonder where the people should be, just look for the seat belts. No seat belt, no people, period. Kawasaki built this RUV specifically as a two-person vehicle. Never install seats in the cargo bed. Let's take a look at some of the basics. The Terex comes with two forward gears, high and low, and reverse. 
always come to a complete stop before changing gears, or the transmission could be damaged. High range should be used for typical riding conditions. Select low for maximum torque. Low range should be used for hauling heavy loads, climbing hills, pulling a trailer, or for sustained low speed driving. Switch from two to four wheel drive before climbing steep inclines or driving on loose surfaces. Stop the Terex before shifting between two wheel drive and four wheel drive modes. Changing drive modes while moving can result in an abrupt change in steering and handling characteristics, causing you to lose control. In addition, shifting while moving can cause front drivetrain damage. Four-wheel drive can also help keep you from getting stuck in the mud. The Terex also has a variable front differential. While in four-wheel drive, the driver can increase or decrease the amount of torque to both front wheels to maintain traction in slippery conditions. Don't shift to the fully locked axle mode while turning or entering a turn. It increases the effort to turn and can cause an unexpected change in direction resulting in an accident. Your first ride will be a learning experience. Choose an open, flat area with no obstacles. Once you're ready to start, there are four things you must do before you start up your Terex. One, fasten your seat belts. Two, confirm the parking brake is set. Three, put the shift lever in neutral. Four, check the throttle pedal for proper operation. It should return to its rest position when released. When you first start out, take it easy and get used to the engine and steering response. When you stop the vehicle, set the parking brake. Never exit the vehicle without setting the brake. Stopping and starting is pretty basic, hard to mess it up. It's the stuff that happens in between that we'll talk about next. So let's take a look at safe driving. The Terex is for off-highway use only. Operation on public roads and paved surfaces is hazardous. Additionally, use of four-wheel drive on paved surfaces will cause unnecessary wear and tear on the drivetrain and tires. As you head out with the proper protective gear and your seat belts fastened, remember these elements that will impact your ride. Terrain, visibility, operating conditions, and your experience. In fact, your experience should move to the top of the list. This is undoubtedly the most important thing that is within your control. Until you learn how the Terex will respond, you should take it easy and stick with the basics. Before charging off into a new area, be sure to check for hidden obstacles or hazards. Keep your speed down until you know the area well and are comfortable with your ability to safely navigate the terrain. Always use existing trails and stay away from hazardous areas such as steep rocky slopes or wetlands. And be sure you can see what's ahead of you. If you can't see what's on the other side of the crest, slow down until you can get a clear view. Let's take a look at some tips on driving in various situations and terrain. Avoid driving through water if at all possible, but definitely stay out of deep and fast moving water. That will get you into trouble in a flash. If you must cross shallow water, choose a location where the entry and exit points are not too steep or slippery. Before you back up, always turn and look behind you. Be extra careful. The Terex is an agile RUV. It will allow you to get in and out of some pretty tight places. But remember, this tight turning radius is for low speeds only. Don't aggressively turn the steering wheel at speed and avoid abrupt maneuvers. Cautiously monitor your speed through the turn. Do not attempt to climb hills until you have mastered basic driving. When tackling hills, start small and build up slowly as you develop your skills. Slippery, loose, or bumpy surfaces on hills can be hazardous and should be avoided. Use extreme caution on hills. Some hills are just too steep to climb or descend. If you begin to climb a hill and decide that it's too steep, slowly back down the hill in a straight line, keeping the shift lever in high or low gear, not reverse. Use your brake pedal to control your speed. Always approach a hill climb in a straight line, directly up the slope. Use a steady, consistent amount of power. Never drive sideways on a hill unless there are switchbacks in place. 
Driving sideways may cause the Terex to tip over. In the unlikely event you must drive sideways up a hill, consult the owner's manual for more information. The same basic common sense applies to going down hills. Stop and look for obstacles before descending. Go straight down the hill, go slowly, and take it easy. When descending hills, make your decision before you begin to descend. A good rule of thumb is, when in doubt, find another route. If the bed of your Terex is loaded, things like climbing a hill can become more challenging. This extra weight changes the vehicle handling dynamics and may make the vehicle more prone to tip on uneven surfaces or during certain maneuvers. And while we're talking about the driving dynamics of a loaded vehicle, let's talk about load capacities and towing a trailer. As I mentioned, adding cargo to your Terex changes the driving dynamics of the vehicle. Carrying a load in the cargo bed or towing a trailer will change the way the Terex accelerates, turns, and stops. Always reduce your speed and be aware that braking distances are longer with an extra load or trailer. The cargo bed is for cargo only. Never allow passengers in the cargo bed, ever. The combined weight of the cargo and passengers should never exceed the limits in the owner's manual. Likewise, the combined weight of the cargo, passengers, trailer, and trailer cargo should not exceed the limits in the manual. And remember, the tongue weight of a trailer is counted just the same as if that weight were in the cargo bed. While you are enjoying your Terex in the great outdoors, keep in mind that any motorized vehicle can have an impact on the environment. The great outdoors can only remain great if we treat it with respect. The key to protecting the environment we enjoy so much is to stay on the designated trail. Avoid sensitive areas such as meadows, lake shores, wetlands, and streams. If you must cross the stream, go slowly where the trail crosses the stream at a 90 degree angle. Never cut switchbacks. This will destroy the integrity of the trail. If an obstacle is blocking the trail, either move the obstacle or drive over it, not around it. This avoids widening the trail. If the trail doesn't go there, don't drive there. It's as simple as that. Go to treadlightly.org for more information on protecting the environment. So, that's it. We've shown you some great information about your Terex, an overview of the basic controls, and some tips for safe and responsible driving. Remember to refer to your owner's manual before operating your Terex. And enjoy your new ride.